really great things about building a laptop yourself is you can build whatever specifications you want. Um, and unlike buying a used laptop, you can install a fresh installation of Windows, which means that it is virus and mal malware free. So I'm a big fan of that. And I'm going to take you through the process right now of how I went about doing that. Okay, so first thing I did was purchase a laptop. Uh, this was probably the most essential thing. I found one that was just simply missing parts, but operational. And upon receiving it, I could find that the battery was gone, the battery cable, solid state drive, solid state drive cable. So after purchasing these items, this is the rundown of what everything costs for a total of 93, 34. Now keep in mind, I could have increased the specifications on any of these components, added RAM, bigger solid state drive, but my goal was to keep it as cheap as possible. So first thing I did was install the solid state drive, uh, get it all in there. If you don't have miscellaneous screws, you might have to buy a kit on Amazon, but I had some I could use and then installing it here, you, as you can see, and I, I put the solid state drive in the, in the listing down below so you can see the cost of it. I also put the miscellaneous screws and the tools I use, things like that. Although I already had some screws, sometimes people want to know where do I buy them so I can have them in stock in case it's because, you know, I need them on a regular basis. Now, here we go. I have the battery here, just like so. I all installed and now I'm going to put it back together. So you can see that was a minimal amount of work, but now I have to go on to install the operating system because new solid state drive means you need in, then you need a new installation of windows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm moving on to installing. I have a solid, I have my um, USB with windows 11, go ahead and install it. And I have a video down below on how to make the USB and how to install Windows and bam, it's up and running. It took me about an hour to, um, to get it all installed. And if you open up here, these are the specifications on my new laptop and it works great. But anyway, if you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. But from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.